Good morning, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budrum, and this morning I'm going to be harvesting my ginger. I've been waiting for seven months to do this. Um, I planted it here in uh, my ginger and my galangal in this area here uh, with the lemongrass. If you want to just come around to your right, Wilma, and show. It's just the sun. Uh, it, that was just uh, bare, bare ground, just yeah. with the plants in. and one little uh, sprout of lemongrass when we planted it. Yeah, well, just gonna pick the first one here. Started off with ten, we started off with ten plants, or ten uh, tubers, or rhizomes rather, that we planted. Um, some of them died, we had a lot of rain, and uh, we planted more, and then uh, then we needed some ginger a couple of months ago, so we, um, holy dooly, so we harvested the weaker ones. So my strategy there, being that the stronger ones are going to get more growth than the weaker ones, so we, we left five of the, the strongest ones to, uh, look at that patch there. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll dig them off. Now, on another video, I mentioned that we had one plant that was two feet across. Uh, I measured it the other day. It goes from there over to there. So it's about one foot eight. Uh, just this one up. That's one section. Oh boy, the big ginger. Oh, that is incredible. Beautiful. I'm going to clean it all up and hose it all down. Wow. We've used a lot of uh, organic fertiliser in this. Uh, a lot of blood and bone and a lot of uh, liquid seaweed. And uh, I've even put some... Uh, seaweed that I found out in the ocean uh, a couple of months ago around it. Oh, I'm just, I can't believe that. It's huge. You ever see it like that in the shops? No. Oh, no. They've yeah. already cut it a bit, oh, haven't they? Well, that's only two plants. Uh, we'll have to find some recipes for ginger. That's that bit. That's uh, three. This lemon grass is really took off. Yeah.
Oh, there's the uh, there's the rhizome that we planted. Mm. That bit there, yeah. The one that had the biggest uh, tubers of rhizomes was always the strongest one. Uh, I pointed that one out in our video, um, on our garden video, uh, uh, mid-summer update, or the summer update, I pointed out for that one. Now I've got another one around here. See, this one's pretty well shaded. <coughs> Uh, right. Oh, it'll be interesting to see how it is. Yeah. Now, this is our, our galangal, galangal here. Those, those three, they galangal. A beautiful plant. Uh, I don't want to... We've still got a bit in the freezer that we bought from the shop. So, uh, plus, I'll give them a little bit more time to grow. We'll do them on a separate video. Yeah. Now, this is the one in the shade. Now yeah, you can see here where I've buried a whole heap of fish scraps. You can see a snapper head here. <laughs> and all the fish bones. Uh, and that's another... Uh, oh, that might be the one I just drew in. Is that the same one or a different one? Anyway, uh, this is number five. I'll just come around. Mm, it smells nice. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Now what I'm going to... That's uh, number five. What I'm going to do is clean them all up and we'll do another video of part two. Okay. And uh, but what I've got here, I'm going to... I've got some shallots over there, I've got to dig them up. And I'm going to plant some potatoes. I've got some spuds just chafing at the bit, ready to be planted. Okie doke, so I'll come back on the next video. Okay, bye.